So my name is Justine Whitney. I am a private chef and a small boutique caterer. I think it really started in my early teens, um, my passion for cooking. And I had um, not a lot of time with my mum growing up because she was very busy and I was number three. I would go into the kitchen and cook with her. But um, growing up in Australia, you know, everything was very frugal and we didn't really have a lot of um, processed food and stuff. So we uh, used to buy sheep hearts from the local butcher. And I used to cut up when I was a kid, all the sheep hearts for the cats. And when I was nine, I used to spend every Sunday sharpening all the kitchen knives. <laughs> so my sister was working over here for a, a video distribution company. And she said, why don't you come over and see if you want to give it a few months, see if you like it. And so they gave me the opportunity in a work visa. So I moved over here when I was 27 and I came over and I stayed, yeah. I was working out here full time and I was interested in going to culinary school. So I ended up finding over here in Westlake, the local cooking school, Let's Get Cooking. So I went on Sundays and at night and um, basically graduated. I graduated as executive chef and went straight to work. Started my company literally the next day. <laughs> When I was at culinary school, I got to cook for Julia Child. And she was uh, promoting her book with Jacques Papin. They had done a side-by-side -side duo book. We had to, she loves Mexican food, so we had done a Mexican buffet and I made this corn tamale steamed pudding. And at the end of the event, she ate from the buffet and she turned around, she said, who made this corn tamale steamed pudding? And I said, oh, I made that. And the owner of the school, <laughs> had given me the recipe and she literally knocked us down and went, but it's my recipe! <laughs> it was really nice to cook for her, talk to her, have her sign the book and see her in action. Yeah. So how did I build up my clientele? That's actually a really good question because anybody you ask is going to give you a very different answer to mine and I happen to be in the right place at the right time and I'm a firm believer in that and it was really nice to meet all these great people in the community and see that there was a need for an in-home hands-on customized service. So I do what I like, follow the seasons and I have a basic kind of menu that I put together seasonally and then I'll pop it out to people see what they like, see what kind of pops into their brain and then we'll build a custom menu from there. So I usually cover all the sustainable seafood. Um, I do sustainable meats, that kind of thing. And then I'll follow what's at the farmer's market or, you know, I use a lot of what's in my vegetable garden too. And just being able to deliver and keep them happy through food is so much fun.